I don't often do these types of videos anymore, but this is one of those shut up videos. <laughs> so here we go. Right, I sometimes get nice comments like this. Uh, I'm from people I, I know and I've met and some of them I've met and they're very nice and they're like, why are you doing this, Anthony? And then I get other comments like this, which are just from buffoons and idiots. I tried finding this guy's channel. What? So, what's funny is you sort of hear people go, if you're a real historian, you'd know this. If you're a real, you'd know this. Right, I'm going to put two pictures here from the National Archives of Britain. Okay, National Archives of Britain. So, the, the English archives, basically, some of the best in the world at preservation. What do they have to say about using gloves? Okay, years ago I used to wear white gloves because it was the early 2000s and, you know, people, you saw it on television, people wore white gloves and all that. Now, I, my uh, my background is in archaeology where you don't wear bloody white gloves, you wear, like, digging stuff or you're, you're reading a paper in a library about an archaeological dig, so you didn't really come across white gloves. So I use white gloves as everyone else, but then as I kept up to date, which you should do is try and keep up to date with what's going on as best you can, um... It just became evident that people said, actually, stop wearing white gloves. It's really bad. It's better to wash your hands and dry them properly. Dry them. And there's not much oil on your fingers. Whereas if you have gloves, how often do you wear, wash those gloves? And they've normally, because the, it drips downwards, they accumulate the acids at the bottom of the fingers. And not only that, it meant that because they don't fit perfectly... People were ripping pages by accident because they couldn't quite grab it properly. Or the second one, if there was a little um, little nick in the page, the white glove would catch it and scratch it or like rip it. So they found out after years that basically it's better to wash your hands before you deal with documents than actually... Um, put white gloves on so it's really funny to me when you see people going off on going white gloves white gloves and you're like you're about 20 years out of date guys you're about 20 years out of date and then you're like if you're a real historian you'd know that you know you don't actually i do know because i know you don't do that so hence why i never wear it and basically the rules are if you you clear the table try not to have anything that ink has been stained check for ink or anything like that you put on obviously dry the table thoroughly or put on a mat down uh, which specially for the purpose unless you have, if you have one um don't have, drinks go off the table not the end of the table off the table everybody washes their hands dries them thoroughly and you're all right for a few hours as you sort of like go through if you start getting sweaty again because you're in japan and it's hot and it's outside of central heat and then do it but on the whole we live here in wales which is bloody freezing so you don't sweat so often as you can see by my jumper even though it's shiny outside we have jumpers in here because it's bloody cold so uh you're not sweating you're sort of acid all over it you should actually only really wear white gloves for things that will leave fingerprints like photographs film things like that so before you start harping off guys about especially let's put that guy's image back here that guy you expect, before you become that guy um just think about what you're saying and if you want to know more about how to think about what you're saying before you open your big traps go for that how to be a modern samurai basically makes you think before you speak which is probably what would be needed in this world and if you want you can follow up there's tons and tons of um, places which now advise you shouldn't wear white gloves it's it's detrimental to the preservation of the original document.